not a little bit, he has a lot of that it factor. Now, the Colorado Chancellor, Phil DiStefano, in an article saying this about the Pac-12. Nobody's asked us in reference about leaving. This was the question about uh, the backup plan. I shouldn't even say that, actually. We're committed to the Pac-12. What I've said all along with the other presidents and chancellors is we're not going to even think about going anywhere, none of us, until we see what kind of offer we get, and that's still being worked out, and I'm confident it's going to be fine. Now, that comment makes the, they, they want to stay. No one has ever said they don't want to stay. If you have, that's fine. But at the same time, there's still that always, yeah, but. We've seen that with Robbins. Yep. We've seen that with Utah. We've seen that with a lot of them. That doesn't mean that they want to leave or expect to leave or might leave. But there is what was the pawn. We're not even going to think about going anywhere, none of us, until we see what kind of offer we get. That's a yeah, but. Yeah. Also, the adjective he used about the deal was, we're going to have a deal that's competitive. We're not even say that. He said, fine. Yeah. Like, fine is... Yeah, it's still being worked out, the deal, and I'm confident it's going to be fine. Yes. Uh, fine is a, is a loaded word in that uh, maybe now they are resigning themselves to the fact and maybe getting away from the rhetoric of, like, we're going to beat this one and we're going to do that and this is going to be how much money because they've got to stop doing that because if it was going to be better, it would probably already be done because there'd be more enthusiastic bidders on this. So it's going to be fine. Fine to me means... Like, and I'm maybe reading too much about the same as the Big 12, which is what everybody's kind of thought that's had rational dealings with this the whole time. The Pac 12 will get a deal. It'll be about what the Big 12 gets, maybe a little bit less, maybe somehow a little bit more. But I, you know, um, because they have 10 teams as opposed to 12 to split it at average annual, blah, 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 blah. But he keeps saying it like they're not going to do anything and they're not even going to consider anything until they're given the. And like that's, you've got to hit the panic button. Sense. That makes yeah. sense. Craig, when you saw that, you actually sent me, uh, I think, an email about it. What were your thoughts when you saw the Colorado Chancellor's comments? Well, I love, first of all, that uh, his initial comments were about the fact that they've uh, made more lax transfer requirements to help Dion build up his football program in that <laughs> superb academic conference that is the Pac-12, that that's what the most important thing is. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was that, like the first thing out of his mouth was lax transfer rules to help Dion's football team out. But tell me more about uh, the AAU status and all of that. I understand I'm, I'm somewhat tongue-in-cheek talking about that because I do know there's that academic tie-in with, uh, with the Pac-12, but... Then you see things like that and you realize it's not this end all be all like not cross line whatsoever that it's made out to be like, come on now, uh, football still drives a lot of this stuff. And that's why Colorado is, is changing some of their their rules to, to help as much. But um, that was kind of funny just to see right away, given all of the, the academic talk that's out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, he said the same thing that his chancellor said and that others have said, we love the Pac-12. We want to be here. And that's where some people choose to cut it off. And they, for, for whatever reason, don't include the dot, dot, dot. But, you know, all of that hinges on what kind of money we see in this upcoming TV deal. I don't, I don't hear them, you know, you, you might see somebody talk about fit. Like, for example, he mentioned how they get more turnout now for these California road games than they do when they were in the Big 12. That's notable. Um, you know, the academic tie-ins, while clearly – Let's drop some of them for Dion so we can play football and win games. There is still that element that we know with that conference as well. Like there's at least some underlying, you know, or, or not even underlying, but outward, you know, talk about the, the academic side of things, although I think it's taken a bit too seriously sometimes. Um, but he does mention like why there are reasons to stay in the Pac-12. I don't think it's any secret they, they want to stay there. I think that's been made very clear, but I don't think that – um, it's it's genuine to say like oh hey that's where the conversation stopped because he very much left the door completely wide open like everyone else has in their comments to go to the Big Twelve if necessary they've all done that no one has said under no circumstance will we go to the Big Twelve under no everybody has said no we don't want to do that we won't do that dot 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 unless the money's not there the blah 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 they've all left the, the screen door open and and that's been the case this entire time so if you are somebody that believes that there's absolutely no chance i think that there might not be a 50 percent chance or a 60 percent chance but there's better than a zero percent chance that they could be on the move uh, and we don't know until we see that tv deal and for those that say there's 
absolutely no chance the pack sticks together. No, there's a much greater than 0% chance that that's not the case. But again, it all depends on their TV deal. So I really feel like we're in the exact same place that we've been now for quite a while. And we're all doing the same thing we've been doing this entire time, which is, hey, Pac, got a TV deal yet? Because that's the only question remaining. And that will answer a lot of these other questions. But uh, here we are, and it's, it's now the last week of April. And... We were talking about deadlines like two weeks ago, and so now we're hitting May, and I know they pushed this deadline back apparently, um, but you just wonder how much further they're going to keep pushing that back. It doesn't really spur a lot of confidence in me that everything's just going perfectly well no matter how many little drops of like, no, this is interested, and these are people are interested, and these people are interested. No matter how many times that's happened now over the last month or so, we've seen little to no change that's pushed them in another direction. So we wait on the TV deal, and we, we see what happens after that. All right, let's do some other.